let's continue after uh, changing a lot of things already we've finally uh, installed this one this personal folder which provided for instance this one and what we're now going to do is take a look at something um, well it's not dangerous but it's tricky but it can be fun uh, so maybe it's worth trying out because I'm moving with this window and you think why is he doing that some of you will already know so I'm gonna go to control center I've installed something specific for you which is called May tweak and config the compass config settings and measure has something to do with it let's take a look at the mate tweak I pronounced it wrong I thought but anyway so these two can be just omitted just deleted not deleted but okay they are invisible at the point this point in time as well as this one right mouse click will still be able to work and open the terminal will still be able to do that if I do this then my right mouse click is dead so it won't be able to work there so I want to keep it like this then the interface a very very important tip save the panel layout now already strange why does he do that because when you change later on to Fedora or GNOME 2 it will be gone and you have to make a lot of effort to get back so we have first saved panel layout and then we have three menus this is the standard mint mate menu which you would like to keep maybe because when you select Fedora then you get this kind of look which is quite nice but like I said in an earlier uh, tutorial it's always nice to be able to change from time to time so this one or GNOME 2 which is another way to look at it you can also add system because we were missing that one it applies to both of them here you don't have these icons yet maybe we can maybe add them to the panel so we can save the panel layout again if you change something and say I want to have specific this kind of specific layout then you can save the panel and it will get this kind of name and this we can't change the name I don't think you can so it's just custom Eric tweak enable launcher might be interesting this is this little sign here if you double click it it's a kind of thing to look for it's called synapse and in here you find out what kind of shortcut you need you need to activate it control space control space and then you get another one so I'm gonna quit it it's uh, gone so this this one enable launcher and the keyboard let's strange thing but maybe you'd like it I show icons on the menu show icons on the buttons and some options here then the tricky part why is it tricky because of this here the window manager by the way you can enable animations up here and change these looks I'd rather keep it this are one two three four five six six ways to show you the windows your this uh, window manager choose of choice and you have to choose between them and one of them that is um, particularly interesting is the compass advanced GPU accelerated desktop effect meaning why did I move my window like that it was not wobbly so when we choose for compass advanced everything seems to break apart so it's quite normal that it's not normal so you say keep this window manager and we take this here and then you know what I mean with wobbly so this is compass compass um, does not look right at this point in time as design so we have to do something about that as well but here are other compass config settings and it is uh, with reason that this pop-up emerges here advanced tool use with caution 
It allows you to deeply configure compass settings. Some options may be incompatible with each other. So when you put something on, then another thing is not possible anymore and so on. Use with care. Otherwise, you'll have an unusable desktop. I must say I have ended up many times in an unusable desktop. Show this warning next time. Please do so you're quite aware that it's not so uh, it's, it's dangerous you have to do it with a clear mind so a lot of things you can do dim and so on i'm not going into that really it's quite dangerous i just use it the way it comes out of the box and uh, leave it like so let's go ahead and change the um, look uh, arc theme is not shown as it should be and that is tricky enough so this border here is not the way it's supposed to be. The window border is not nice. I'm going to go all the way up to the arc dark theme and leave it like that. If you do it like so, arc dark, and then you might come back to the arc dark patuzzi and then it's okay, you see? It's a strange tip and trick, but uh, whatever, huh? it works. So now we have this wobbly window with all kind of little effects you'll see when you start working on your system that there are some extra effects like so, opening up, opening down. And remember, you are seeing this in a virtual box, so it's a little bit sluggish, but it's actually quite nice. This wallpaper of this uh, boiler is still uh, abnormal. Just close the system and start Firefox and it'll adopt the new border voila so that's um, a choice you can make uh, where was it again it's called mate tweak so we can type mate and tweak and there you go and this was the option we did did but we can make a metacita compton gpu compositor now we have even other borders and again we'll no it's, it's quite okay but the white line here we have to check out if we can change it uh, do remember when you're working on this that there is a little program called windows and you have maybe to enable stuff so depending listen very carefully depending on what window manager you choose in the tweak tool you'll get this window option or not so that's important to choose or to know that when you're figuring out this this tweak thing here may tweak and you're working on these things here then there is another little program called windows and as you can see it is quite ugly and thanks to the wallpaper you don't see it now but there is a black thing around it so you have to see if it's possible to change it so the appearance if we can change it via this way to customize it again to arc dark perhaps and if not we'll have to figure it out or just take another uh, theme or take another compositor because i do think that this meta city i'm thinking about uh, the config file you probably won't have a config file telling this thing here around it should be transparent and should have a shadow maybe the issue I'll check that out later but anyway so no compositor will have no shadows behind it so this will be just nice and the same applies to the Marco and so on so it's a choice you just choose what you want but be aware with this one this is a bit tricky let's try it again just by way of exercise and show you again that everything is broken and you have to fix again and hope for the best let's take our dark here and go up to our dark and that seems to work fine for us all right so now we have back on this compass and we can wobble around with our window and that concludes our tutorial about these window managers